this is a day that the lord has made welcome everyone my name is vanessa welcome to my channel as you can tell from the title there's a few things it's monday i have a walmart beauty box review i have makeup well i don't know exactly how what i'm gonna put in the title but anyhow this is fourth of july week i had this headband for a few years tucked away and I keep forgetting that I had it, so I pulled it out. I'm starting off with SPF because I've done all my skincare. And I keep forgetting to put on my SPF. It's just so hot. I don't like having stuff on my skin. Serums don't bother me. Let me see if I can get y'all closer. Just as a reminder, I am in Arizona. It is hot. We have over 100 degree weather. This is like our monsoon season, so we do have cloud cover, which creates humidity. As long as we stay indoors, we're fine. <laughs> okay, so the Walmart Beauty Box comes out quarterly. I don't even know how much it costs now, but it used to be, I wanna say $5 once upon a time and you also used to receive up to seven products. Now you're only getting five and it costs much more. I have not been excited over the products I've been receiving. So this is going to be my last beauty box, but I wanted to share. Sometimes I share with you guys, sometimes I don't. You can purposely choose like hair products, nail products, skin products, body products. You can choose to def make it what you want you just don't ever know what you're going to get and these are all the possibilities but you only get five and it's like how come you didn't send me this how come you didn't send me that there's a sample bio oil dry skin gel this is a face wash it is so perfumated high fragrance i did use it once this has so much scent i wouldn't even give this to my son i am throwing it away <laughs> this is a thigh rescue stop chafing stick i have not used it but it could come in handy especially because i got thick thighs this is an argan oil perfect edges this has a lot of fragrance also it reminds me of the face wash but they're different companies it smells very manly i have used it and i do like how it works I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if I wanna keep it or not. I have not used this. This is a Mark Anthony Curl Defining Lotion, Humidity Shield for Frizz Free Curls. This is made for my hair. I just don't feel like opening it right now because it is so hot. The thought of having lotion, can't fathom it right now. So that's my beauty box. For sure, we're throwing one product away. Now let's get into the makeup. Of course, I'm going light as normal, but I'm going to have a surprise at the end. Yes, it's going to be a surprise. So how are you guys doing? It is Monday. Did you sleep good? Are you ready for work? Or did you take the week off? I take Fridays off in the summertime. And then 4th of July falls on Thursday. So I will have the day off. That means I only work three days. And y'all, if you've been watching my videos, like three days is still too long. <laughs> but I prayed on it and I know I will get through. I will get through. So I just did a quick correcting stick and now I'm doing my concealer because I have darkness I know you probably can't see it because there's bright light but there is darkness it's not too bad like I've mentioned before I could go without any makeup and be okay and y'all I feel good about my life I after making that reflection video I decided I I do need to do some more work. I need to change priorities around. I need to manage my time differently. 
And so I am getting up earlier. Like, I feel personally good. Now, my thoughts about work have not changed. We won't go there. It is what it is. If you've watched my videos, I did attend a women's conference this weekend. So day two of the conference is coming. Okay, I'm just powdering my T-zone where I am the oiliest, where I don't want things to shine. I'm feeling good. I'm up early to do this video. I mean, that's not why I woke up early, but I am up early. We got this. We got this. I'm going to do a dusting of the lightest brown shade I have all over my lids. light i am not a heavy makeup wearer i'm not a dramatic makeup wearer wearer even if i'm going out it's never been in me to wear a whole bunch of makeup although i will say i don't mind looking at videos of people doing heavy makeup okay i'm going to go in with the next darkest shade of brown in my particular palette And as I was mentioning one, in one video, even if you only have one brown, you could intensify it. You don't need a lot of makeup to get a different look. This brush helps me be very precise. I do like it when I want to be precise and pack it on a little bit deeper than normal. It is my go-to brush. Now, I'm going to, and I probably should, okay. I probably, let me wet my brush this time with my rose water. I'm gonna go into my black. I do want to be a little sassy today. So I do want a deeper line there. And just try to make it work as best as you can. I do think that powder is more forgiving when you're trying to do a wing look, which is why I do like I prefer this over liquid because I am not very good with liquid. It's not going to, going to be perfect because of my hooded eyes, but it's all good. Now, because this is 4th of July kind of makeup and there are sparkles, right, on 4th of July, let's go in with a sparkly shade. Not too intense, because I do have more sparkly than this, but that's as much as I want. Okay, which that came out of my Petal Lit palette here. I am still without an eyelash curler. I decided that it might take me a while before I get one again and so I just have to deal with what I got so I was trying to hold it and let it set a little bit I don't think you can see it <laughs> We are going to make our mascara work for us. You can hear my fan, can't you? Ah, I think you can see my eyelashes now. There you go. I'm going to use a soft colored blush nothing too intense more or less matte so let's go right here i'm 44 
and y'all can see I'm chunky, I'm big, obese, whatever you want to call me, fat. <laughs> I need some lift right here. So this is going to go up high. Now, the surprise. We're going with a red lip. It's been a while since I've had a red lip and I'm not even going to use a lip liner. I'm just going to do the best I can. There we go. This is probably the look I'm going to try to wear all week in celebration of 4th of July, Independence Day. I'm proud to be an American. I'm also proud to have Mexican culture and roots in, in me. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember today is going to be what you make of it. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.